Two Sex is a game in which the story presents us with a main character that seems to be fighting against the Illuminati, an organization that controls the world from the shadows. In the first Two Sex, there are choices that you can take as a player which can offer three different endings. Two of these endings lead to a complete dictatorship, while the choice presenting freedom leads to chaos with a complete technological blackout, exactly how the Illuminati want us to think that without their control, there is chaos and disorder, so we will always fear the unknown this way. I want to present you now the two-minute ending scene which reveals the plans of the Illuminati from the first two sex. I trust you've been able to find yourself a place within the organization? I'm personally overseeing the distribution of the vaccine, but it'll still take months to restore the infrastructure. We'll have to arrange for additional food distribution and security in Paris, maybe New York as well. All through the proper intermediaries, of course. Intermediaries? We have a great number of agencies who in turn operate other agencies. Boxes stacked one in another. They'll need to be reactivated, but we never touch anything directly. We only influence, suggest, insinuate. The world must know by now, Everett, what we've done. Know what? Only that the long night is over. The crown of government is tarnished. But that will fade in time. The riots, a fever dream. The plague, a horrible nightmare. And like everything else that's happened, such things will only be dimly remembered upon waking to their normal lives. In the end, all sins are forgiven. Even yours. What about the Constructor? And Helios? Do you really think they're ready for that? After everything you've seen, everything you've done? No. Not yet. But soon, we have made our own mistakes, became insulated from the world we sought to control. And whatever they may think, the night is far from over. But that will change, and you will help us change even as we teach you. This time, this time, we will do it right. And who are we? Who are we really? We are the Invisible Hand. We are the Illuminati. We come before and after. We are forever. And eventually, eventually, we will lead them into the day. Better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven. This game truly holds its Illuminati status because all the endings are implanting ideas that coincide with the Illuminati views in our minds. Also, when he says we will lead them into the day, he is referring to the dawn of a new day or New Age theme that Bill Cooper also exposed to us and is prevalent through our entertainment. We need to realize that entertainment is just a tool of control, through which our handlers slowly implement ideas into our minds so that we can accept the future that they prepare for us. I suspect it will be a transhumanist world in which all our rights have been given away and by combining ourselves with machine, our thoughts can be altered just by the press of a button. Or simply just turned off when we cross the line. Due Sex gets us familiarized with the transhumanist future. And in the latest release, Mankind Divided, I have noticed some interesting cutscenes which I want to share. In this first Illuminati scene, they tell their tactics right in our face. Eliminating potential threats to their vision is part of their ultimate strategy. To ensure the success of our vision, the disruptive elements must be excised. We may need to exert financial as well as political pressure to silence anyone opposed. Proceed. A small example from today's world is how YouTube is making it harder and harder for us to do anything on its platform. Fair use law. When you are allowed to show samples from a video as long as you are criticizing it, it doesn't even apply on YouTube. In fact, they are strengthening their censorship even more now by using the people to do their work for free. Similarly to how communism told people to report those who were not in line with their ideas. That is why we're proceeding with our ultimate strategy. Next, he says to activate the sleeper cell. Now it is time to get everyone's attention. 
nature. Activate the sleep cell. As the camera pans out to the traditional Illuminati symbol, which if you have eyes to see it, you will see it as clear as day. I think this puts a conclusion that the Illuminati plan is to eliminate all threats while putting everyone else asleep. I could basically just end the video right now and case closed, but I will continue. Next they show us how the police state looks like and how we will be treated and scanned at every corner. By the way, that is already happening right now, so it's no longer science fiction. This is how we say. I swear it's gotten even worse here in the past few days. Everyone looking over their shoulder, terrified dogs like us are going to attack them again. Somebody probably will. Treat people like animals long enough, they'll start acting like animals. Here we see the number six just before they start talking about the Illuminati. I hate this city. Come on. If you're right about Dubai, about the Illuminati needing your team as witnesses, then we need to find out why. I wonder what that means. I know it's the TV channel name. What if there is a hidden meaning here? Next we see what looks like an MK Ultra brainwash session. What exactly are you gonna do to me? I'm not sure yet. First I gotta get in there to see what's wrong. But don't worry. I'm not gonna do anything to you I wouldn't do to myself. And they show us oh, their it's... hidden sign again. Which in this case is a one-eyed character with a crown of thorns on the back of his jacket. These are all small clues that we need to look for. Then he gives us another subliminal message. I want you to want to be an augmented god among men. Here they show us the kind of weapons that the New World Order has in its arsenal. An augmented kill squad with military training. Have you ever seen anything like it? They give us another indicator of Illuminati affiliation. The number 33, associated with someone who can't be seen or traced. Alright, you have any leads? I traced our hacker Snoop to an unrented apartment. Top floor, 33 Halabni just down the street. This guy walks by us every single day, probably walks in. The number 33 is the highest rank in Freemasonry, so maybe this number has something of occult significance. I think it's most certainly related. And in the next scene, we are shown the dark ways of secret societies. The society in cause is called the Bell Tower, which can be a reference to the movie Brotherhood of the Bell. A movie about a secret society which tries to eliminate someone who has chosen to disobey them. How did you join the Juggernaut Collective? Well, they got me out of a tough spot. Before the incident. I was working for Bell Tower flying VIPs around Panama and I stumbled into something big. Something very important people didn't want anyone to know about. So, they ordered Bell Tower to kill me. Janus warned you? Got you out? A friend of Janus's, someone in the collective who used to work for Bell Tower too. You don't mess with these people, Adam. Not by yourself. I learned that the hard way. Interpol has promised to get you and your family out of here to safety. Safety? There is no safety. Only tyrants who prey on the weak and the innocent. This is actually true with our current world. In this next scene, we see how a man by the name of Talos is the leader of an augmented faction and gives purpose to weak individuals. It wasn't long before Talos found me. And he gave you work? He gave me purpose. He's the reason I'm still alive. Talos is also the entity prophesized in Skyrim. And there is even a game called the Talos Principle which I have already exposed and did a video of. Then we see that the guard of Talos is a one-eyed character which actually tells us that he guards the gates of hell and that we have to choose a side. I am Marchenko, and Marchenko, he is more of a guardian, like the hound at the gates of hell. Yes, there is a moment coming, and it will be soon, when all of us will have to choose a side. How about no side? Well, then you're dead, according to this guy. Anyone who does not will just be in the way. And that 
could get them killed. The sun behind is placed on purpose to signify divine power. This character tells us that there is someone even more powerful that controls things from the shadows, and as he tells us this, he is killed. Somewhere down there, hiding in plain sight, is your real terrorist. I was trying secretly to find out who is responsible. Rucker. This scene shows us how vulnerable our future digital bodies will be. Rucker told me Ark was being set up, that the real terrorists were hiding in plain sight. And was he wearing a tinfoil hat when he said this? In this scene, they make fun of conspiracy theorists. Was he wearing a tinfoil hat when he said this? Tinfoil, tinfoil hat, tinfoil hat. Welcome, Seeker. The ascension is near. Soon, the Machine God will make us one. Here is a strange transhumanism singularity cult with stylized red 88s on the floor and walls, which is another occult number of great significance to the Illuminati. Come in. Come in and let me see you. Or are you here to join us? To free yourself from this prison of flesh and give yourself to the glory of the singularity. The body is the prison. Augmentations are the key. The consciousness is all. Cast off the bounds of flesh and blood. Embrace the singularity. This is exactly the philosophy of the Illuminati. This scene shows us how transhuman humans will be preferred and they will take the jobs of natural humans. His name was Lachlan Beats. He was a laborer. Worked in the mines up near Bendigo before everything went to hell. Beats was a family man who did what he thought he had to do in order to provide for his family. See, back then, nobody could compete with you Ogs when it came to manual labor jobs. So, he made a choice, if you can call it that. Is this the future that we want? Martial law. Riots and golems spilled over into crowds. Entire cities on lockdown. None but state police allowed in the streets tonight. They've all got itchy trigger fingers. And now here's more police state and how they will not care if they kill the wrong target. Don't know why he didn't listen. Let's see what we have. Then why did he run? What's the order? Any augment on A. So? So we killed a citizen. The city's on lockdown. A true citizen would respect that. Get him into the truck. Brown's been selling investors a pumped up dream. The corporate city state where like minded individuals govern themselves while investors reap the profits. Kinda goes against the idea of a one world government. Yeah, and if it fails, so does Brown, the Santo Group, and anyone else standing in the Illuminati's way. So they want to kill a competing dream and get rid of their augmented problem in one fell swoop. I take it Brown's been campaigning against the act? And unlike Rucker, he's got the money and influence to stop it. Here is a reverse 33 again on this plane, just like the one on the dollar bill from The Division. This game is called Mankind Divided, by the way. The Illuminati already tried once to control human evolution. Having failed, it appears that some of them now are pushing for a complete eradication of your kind. We need to stop them. Brown and the people he's meeting with tonight may be the only ones who can. Here is the play of words with light and darkness, and how the enlightened ones will bring the Promethean torch to the uncapable masses. Where there is darkness, there is also opportunity, and we must seize it. We are the ones who can bring light back into the world. If we must, we We'll take up that torch and we will make sure that all the augmented have a chance to live with dignity. The game ends with this Channel 6 thing, after which an Illuminati final discussion starts. And here
here's an IP address with a reverse 666. Quite ingenious. That is not the point. You should have all been informed. That is why we are here now. Volkart. What's done is done. The broad strokes of the operation were very clear and haven't changed. There are always adjustments that will occur in the field. You should know that. Adjustments? Those were not mere adjustments. Interpol was more capable than we anticipated. They have a new augmented agent by the name of... Adam Jensen. Who we believe may have had external help. Possibly by the Juggernaut Collective, or even Janus directly. We're looking into it, but we... All that is speculation at this point. Let's find out more and reconvene later this week. Thank you, everyone. That'll be all. Nice Illuminati table you got there. We want to show Lim different people that the products and devices that they're seeing in, in science fiction, in gaming, and in movies can become reality and can become reality very soon. Everything we're doing is somehow a new step forward. We're now defining the future.